Bhagavad Gita, text 2.17 You should know that which pervades all to be indestructible. No one can bring about the destruction of the imperishable being. In this verse, Krishna rejects the idea that consciousness is momentary. It is not here today and gone tomorrow. Thus, it cannot be denied, for denial itself is an act of consciousness. The self is of the nature of consciousness, and it pervades the entire body. It also projects itself beyond the body and into other material objects with which it identifies. Thus, one develops attachments to the body and its extensions in the form of material objects and other embodied persons. When we project ourselves into a material object, we then identify with it, considering it to be ours. The sense that something is ours is a result of our soul, our actual self, projecting itself into that object. Being unaware of the nature of the self, we misconstrue our material possessions into which we have projected ourselves to be of value without realizing that their value lies in the fact that we ourselves are within them. Thus, it is the self that holds enduring value. It is the self that is dear to one in all circumstances, while material objects and our destructible bodies only appear to be so.